Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines, which I've done since 2015. And a lot of the things I talk about could be applied to anybody that's married. But today will be one of those that relates to a foreigner and Filipina. Please subscribe here to Love Beyond the Sea. And if you're on YouTube, remember to click that notification bell. And uh, leave a comment on this, especially if you can relate to the... Uh, resiliency and adaptability of a woman from the Philippines. I'm talking about bringing her over to your country to be with you like I did when my wife immigrated to the United States early on in 2015. So when you bring somebody, in this case, 9,800 flight miles from a warm weather climate, Philippines, to um, a place where you get all four seasons and a lot of cold weather rain and sleet well we get plenty of rain over there but not snow and probably not hail and you know icy roads and and all of that and the bitterly cold weather sometimes sub-zero temperatures of the midwest so what about adaptability because i think that filipinas are adaptable and let's say for example the um the weather well um when we, when my wife and I got married, we lived in an apartment. We didn't even know that the couple upstairs that was on their way to move out was going to Alaska for his job. And um, I asked the, the Filipina um, before they left um, what she thought about going to Alaska and the cold weather and how she adapted here in Nebraska. And she said it was no problem, no problem at all. She liked the snow. And I've only heard of one Filipina that didn't like the cold weather. She wasn't, you know, married to somebody here, but she was in the United States, I heard, and then just left. Just couldn't deal with the, the cold weather. Now, I'm hoping that if she's married to you, she will want to make more of an effort. But the weather, I don't think that's <laughs> going to be a problem. And if she's learning to drive, she's going to have to drive in that kind of weather. And she's probably never driven before, not in a car. So that's something she can adapt to also, the transportation, learning how to drive and even driving in snow and driving rain and adjusting to the uh, street conditions, which can be very treacherous and icy here. But the weather, I don't think is going to be a challenge. How about the workplace? Probably not going to be a big challenge for her because... She's probably working hard in the Philippines. And when she comes to a place like America, she likely wants to work and wants to work long hours. Most of the time, when I've talked to men here in the States who are married to Filipinas or been married to Filipinas, they'll say their Filipino wives like to work lots and lots of hours. My wife now as a supervisor, second supervisor job, works um, 40 hours one week and then 56 hours the next week, which is, you know, the full 40 and then eight hours on every other Saturday, eight hours on every other Sunday. And uh, she's put in extra hours on top of that. In her case, she's fortunate because she gets overtime for anything over 40. So she's making a lot of money. Filipinas, I think, like to make a lot of money and they work hard and uh, put their nose to the grindstone. And so that's a good thing. I don't think you have to be worried about her being intimidated in the workplace. How about with other people? Well, Filipinas are very friendly and who wouldn't want to be around a friendly person when you go to work? You know how there's people when you go to work that you kind of dread when you look at the schedule and you know you're going to be working with them the next day and you're wishing you were on vacation or you can't wait for them to take a vacation or you wish you weren't working with them because they're just no fun to work with at all. Maybe they complain a lot. Filipina isn't likely to complain a lot at work. She's likely to work hard and want to enjoy herself and be friendly which is um, 
a rare combination here in the United States. So I don't think she'll have too much trouble getting along with other people. And that includes members of your own family. And the biggest one is probably adapting to you, her husband. You bring somebody over here and uh, they're far, far away from home, from the people and the culture that they're used to. And she's married to a, a man, probably, you know, a decent amount older than she is. And, and that's a big adjustment. You just don't see that here in the United States where the average age difference for married couples, almost all of it is between one and three years. Anything outside of that, like even five or six years, is kind of <laughs> unusual. So you get uh, 15, 20 years or more, and it's really unusual. Yet, you know as well as I do, if you've done some research, watched some videos, that Filipinas you know, often marry older men, much older men. And I think they know how to go about making that transition and adapting to him. I think that Filipinas are very hardy individuals, the women that come over here and uh, change their life have to be. I tell you what, I wouldn't move almost 10,000 miles to be away from where I grew up. Of course, I grew up differently than a woman from the Philippines, but um, just the fact that she's willing to do that you know, with someone that she probably hasn't known extremely well because of the distance, well, that shows some toughness and willingness to change and adapt and be flexible and adaptable, you know, resilient. So those are my thoughts. Um, I just want to know what you guys think. Has your Filipino wife, you know, had trouble adapting to your culture or your food? I didn't mention food before. She's probably going to want to stick to a lot of the basics that she ate in the Philippines. You can find an Asian store that helps. Otherwise, well, she'll have to make some kind of an adjustment there. But let me know here what adjustments you saw were kind of difficult for her to make or it were, if it was um, smooth sailing for her when she got to be with you in your country. So let me know here on Love Beyond the Sea.